there. Um, we're so glad that you're here to join us as always, I know, I know, we say this all the time, but we love doing our Be Encouraged moments and that um, you're here listening and sharing. Today we're going to be talking about what I call the Red Sea Dilemma. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to get into something different before we lead into that. Um, I have never done this before, but I know that Larissa <laughs> has and probably many of you have. It's called the Escape Room. Have you ever been to an Escape Room? Yeah, it's it's kind of like a fun thing, I guess. I don't. It doesn't sound that so fun, fun to me. So fun. <laughs> but you have to discover clues, and you have to figure it out, solve puzzles. You have one or maybe multiple rooms to go through in a limited amount of time. So the goal is to find all the clues, um, to solve them, and to escape out of the last room before time runs out. Time expires. I feel that in my life, like time is expiring, God, what's going on? Um, maybe you have an escape room personally in yourself that you feel like there's no way out. Mm. Well, I, I want to go way back to um, in the Bible when we talk about the Israelites escaping um, Egypt. And I, I know that we know this whole story, the story of the Exodus. Well, God rose up Moses and he told him to go to Pharaoh and tell him to release, you know, his people. So that went on for quite some time. And I'm not going to get into the details. Read the story again. It's it's just remarkable, everything that, that God did and that Moses um, had to do to um, trust in God and just obey what he's telling him to do. But anyways, um, finally Pharaoh agreed and Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt. And that was a remarkable thing. Everybody was so excited. They got out. But it wasn't the end of their journey because they had many obstacles throughout their journey mm. before they got to the promised land. Um, and so lots of different discoveries and decisions had to be made. And then there came what I call the Red Sea Dilemma. They got to this Red Sea. And was it the end? Or was it an escape route from God? Hmm. So you know the story. Moses puts his staff down in the Red Sea, you know, separated. And they were able to cross. I can't imagine being a part of the Israelites group at that time. Like, whoa, <laughs> Wall walls of, of, of water that are just like, ooh, poke through. <laughs> I, I'm sure little kids did that, of course. So they got to the other side knowing the Egyptian army, Pharaoh's army, was right behind them, not that far. So, and... I'm sure they got up to the Red Sea and they're seeing what's going on. Well, let's go, let's book it because they're not through yet. And, you know, they're just, you know, we're right on their tail. So all of the Egyptian army gets there. On the other side, um, all of the Israelites crossed. And then Moses puts down his staff again and you know what happens. The Red Sea comes over and God destroys the army. The celebration, I mean, that's what... Exodus 15 is all about. It's a song of victory and celebration to the God who rescued them, who came through, who provided a way out of their slavery and destroyed Pharaoh's army. Well, verse 9, I want to read that to you because the enemy thought um, he had, you know, one up on, on God's people. Verse 9 says, the enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My last, oh my, excuse me, my lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. But, <laughs> there's a huge but, God had other plans. He showed his power and eliminated the enemy. 
that scripture was wiped out, not true. And I'm sure I, you're like me. We hear the enemy say this. I've overcome. You're going to you're gonna do what I want. You know, nobody truly loves you. You really aren't good enough. All of those negative things. And you come to the end of your ropes. And who are you going to believe? Who are you going to totally and truly trust? Do you have that red sea dilemma today? I know I do. I have one in my life that I am feeling the pressure of escaping before time runs out. Yeah. But God has already made a plan. He's already made that escape for me and for you. Our job is to trust him and to do what he's asked us to do. He won't leave you stranded. He won't leave you without a plan. He won't ever leave you alone. You're not alone. God is there and we're here. We'd love to hear from you Absolutely. and to pray for you. Go to our website, beencouraged.com. We will pray. We will respond and we will do what God's asked us to do. Thank you, as always, for joining us for our Be Encouraged Moments.